Believe it or not, there are secrets on this Earth that have been frozen for thousands of years. Yes, as our planet warms up, scientists are making shocking discoveries that will change everything we know about history. With the big thaw comes big revelations. So grab your winter coat and gloves and wrap up warm, because we're headed to the world's iciest corners, from ancient pregnant dinosaurs to zombies in the permafrost. These are the 20 most incredible things found frozen in ice. Pregnant Ichthyosaur An incredible expedition that would make Indiana Jones proud. Researchers from the University of Manchester recently uncovered a jaw-dropping discovery in the remote wilderness of Patagonia. Hidden deep in a melting glacier, they stumbled upon a 13-foot pregnant ichthyosaur fossil. But wait, it gets even wilder. This isn't your run-of-the-mill fossil, oh no, it's the first complete ichthyosaur ever found in Chile. And it's in a state of preservation that's downright mind-blowing. Let's talk about this prehistoric superstar. Her name is Fiona, and she's a pregnant ichthyosaur who lived a whopping 139 million years ago during the early Cretaceous period. Now, for those who aren't up to speed on ancient sea creatures, ichthyosaurs are like the rock stars of marine reptiles, looking a lot like a mashup between a dolphin and a swordfish with their long snout and pointy teeth. And here's the exciting part. The saga of Fiona started way back in 2009 when the fossil was first spotted. It took 13 long years to finally get her out due to the logistical acrobatics needed to access this remote mountainous treasure trove. We're talking a grueling 10 hour hike just to get there. And then to preserve the beauty, they had to extract five blocks of fossils, each weighing about 440 pounds. They even gave her a Shrek inspired makeover spraying her with a green preservative coating. It's safe to say Fiona's one heck of a time traveling sensation. And now it's time for our open discussion. What they discovered frozen in ice shocked the whole world. Yes, this peculiar image was captured in an unknown cave, and it's got the entire internet on the edge of their seats. This giant cryptid has been called the abominable snowman, a yeti, and even Bigfoot himself. But what do you guys think? Use the hashtag open discussion in the comment section below to share your thoughts. Hey you, feeling lucky? Want a shout out in tomorrow's video? All you gotta do is smash that subscribe button and comment down below your fave moment from today's juicy topics. Tomorrow, you just might be the talk of the town. All right, enough chit chat, back to the show. Grasshopper Glacier. In the Beartooth Mountains of Custer National Forest, Montana, USA, there's an extremely unusual snowfield with a dark secret. Located at 11,000 feet above sea level, this ancient glacier doesn't have the usual white peaks that you might expect to see on a snowy mountain top. Instead, there are murky gray in color, thanks to the millions of now extinct grasshoppers frozen in the ice. So, how did millions of grasshoppers come to be stuck inside of a glacier? It's believed that a giant swarm of insects, containing perhaps as many as trillions of grasshoppers, were migrating over the Rocky Mountains when they were struck from the sky by a devastating winter storm. Yep, these grasshoppers have been frozen in time in the Beartooth Mountains. If you want to check out this ancient icy insect tomb, you better get planning, as the road to the mountains is blocked for 10 months out of the year. Not only that, but scientists reckon that the glacier will probably melt completely very soon, and there's just under a mile remaining of this bizarre grasshopper glacier. Glacier Ice Worms Alright, we've got a frosty fact fest coming right up. Deep within glaciers in western North America, there's a hidden world buzzing with life. Meet the ice worms, these pint-sized creatures that measure in at a mere half inch, as thin as a dental floss thread. They're like the rock stars of the frozen realm, populating glaciers from the Pacific Northwest all the way up to British Columbia and Alaska. When summer hits, these little rock warriors emerge in droves, ready to feast on algae, microbes, and whatever else they can get their tiny hands on. But here's the wild part. As soon as dawn breaks, they're back in the ice, disappearing into the frozen depths. It's like a secret ice worm party every night. These ice worms were officially introduced to the world by geologist George Frederick Wright back in 1887. They're like the long lost cousins of earthworms, thriving in layers of ice cold water within the snow and ice right at freezing point. 
Now, nobody's really sure how long these ice worms survive in their icy abodes. In lab freezers, they've been known to tough it out for over a year without so much as a snack. Talk about survival skills, right? These ice worms are the true chill masters of the frozen frontier. AP38 Deep within the frigid embrace of Greenland Glacier, a team of intrepid explorers has struck gold. Well, in this case, aircraft wreckage. 70 years after a squadron of US warplanes met their icy fate during World War II, these determined adventurers are on a mission to unearth the secrets entombed beneath the frozen surface. And how did they locate this elusive P-38 Lightning fighter aircraft, you ask? Armed with ground-penetrating radar and an aerial drone that's built like a tank, these modern-day adventurers pierced through a staggering 300 feet of ice. Yes, 300 feet. Unveiling their frozen prize. But they're not satisfied with just one discovery. No, sir. Their sights are set on unearthing even more World War II air wrecks hiding in this icy expanse. Who knew there were so many planes buried beneath the ice? Not us, that's for sure. The Tunic Here's a fashion time capsule that's going to blow your mind. In the heart of Norway's Opland region, researchers stumbled upon a pristine piece of clothing that transports us back in time, all the way to the year 300 AD. Yes, we're talking about a woolen tunic that's been chilling in the ice for approximately 1700 years. Now, we've got a genuine peek into fashion from the year 300. This remarkable tunic is a patchwork of two distinct woven fabrics, and experts believe it would have adorned the frame of a slender man, standing at about 5 feet 9 inches tall. And the best part? They suspect this stylish ancient was a hunter, possibly on the prowl for reindeer, when the unforgiving cold claimed him. As Norway's temperatures rise, the ice is spilling its secrets. Among the thawing treasures at the Lendbreen site are an 1,100-year-old Viking mitten and a jaw-dropping 3,400-year-old hide shoe. It's like stepping into a time machine, one melting glacier at a time. Who knows what other incredible relics lie in wait beneath the ice. Frozen Soldier Here's a chilling tale that sounds straight out of a history mystery novel. Leo Arvid Mustonen, a Finnish-American aviation cadet during World War II, vanished without a trace on November 18, 1942, following a plane crash. Fast forward 63 long years, and in October 2005, his frozen remains emerged from the depths of the Mendel Glacier in the Sierra Nevada range. Imagine the shock of two intrepid ice climbers when they stumbled upon a frozen head, shoulder, and arm while scaling the glacier of the towering 13,710-foot Mount Mendel. At the time of his tragic end, Mustonum was just 22 years old, and his story was shrouded in mystery for over six decades. It wasn't until February 4, 2006 that his identity was finally confirmed, through meticulous forensic testing using hair and teeth. This frozen time capsule of discovery serves as a haunting reminder of the untold stories hidden within the icy heart of the Sierra, Nevada. The Lost Mountain Pass The retreating glaciers in Norway are playing host to a mind-boggling archaeological extravaganza. Over at Lendbreen in Indelet County, a lost mountain pass has unveiled a treasure trove of ancient wonders. A stash of goodies from travelers of old, dating all the way back to whopping 300 AD to 1500 AD. We're talking clothing, remnants of pack horses, and even bits and pieces of sleds. This pass is complete with cairns marking the way, and a stone-built shelter for weary wanderers. And let's not forget the everyday items that have stood the test of time. A knife with a preserved wooden handle, a wool-spinning distaff, and a wooden whisk all frozen in time. Thanks to some seriously slick radiocarbon dating, we know that this mountain pass was a bustling hub of the Roman Iron Age around 300 AD, and that it hit its peak during the Viking Age around AD 1000 and slowly wound down after that. It's like a time machine disguised as a glacier, revealing the secrets of ancient travelers one frosty layer at a time. Stuck in a wall of ice. The Department of the Interior recently dropped a jaw-dropping photo on Twitter that's both eerie and oddly beautiful. It captures a school of fish suspended in mid-air within a towering wall of ice. It's like they froze mid-flight, defying gravity. 
This astonishing shot was snapped by none other than Kelly Preheim, a kindergarten teacher with a knack for photography. Back in March 2015 at South Dakota's Lake Andes National Wildlife Refuge. The real culprit? A lack of oxygen in the lake thanks to drought-inducing low water levels. When a thick layer of ice, especially if it's snow-covered, forms on a lake, it acts like a sunblock for the underwater plants and algae. They can't photosynthesize, meaning that they can't produce oxygen. It's like a slow suffocation for the aquatic critters. And if the plants and algae die and start to decompose, they gobble up even more oxygen, making matters worse. When the weather got even colder, the ice flexed its muscles, pushing the fish towards the shore, creating this surreal vertical wall. Or it might have been the work of some seriously strong winds. Either way, this icy graveyard became a gourmet buffet for hundreds of bald eagles, gulls, and American crows. Yep, we bet the air around there probably smelled pretty fishy for quite a while. Blech. Corpses of World War I soldiers. Talk about a chilling time capsule. Over in the Italian Alps, the melting glaciers are giving us a haunting glimpse into the past. In the quaint ski resort town of Peo, a jaw-dropping archaeological marvel is unfolding. Just a few years back, the ice started giving up its frozen secrets. The remarkably preserved bodies of soldiers who met their end in the Great War. These brave souls were part of what's now dubbed the White War. Picture this, Italy stepping into the World War I stage in 1915, joining the Allies and finding themselves in one of the most perilous battlegrounds imaginable. The rugged terrain surrounding Peo. Here, Italian and Austrian soldiers faced off not only against each other, but also against bone-chilling temperatures and the constant threat of avalanches. And believe it or not, more soldiers are believed to have met their fate through avalanches, treacherous falls, or succumbing to the bitter cold than in actual combat. It's a stark reminder of the unforgiving nature of this icy battleground. As the glaciers slowly surrender their frozen secrets, they're revealing the untold stories of those who faced the brutal forces of nature alongside the horrors of war. Remains of a couple. It's a decades-old mystery. 75 years ago, Marceline and Francine Dumoulin set off to tend to their cows in the serene meadows of Chandelin, Switzerland. But they vanished without a trace, leaving their ultimate fate shrouded in uncertainty. Fast forward to the present day when a worker near a ski lift stumbled upon a jaw-dropping sight. Two bodies, perfectly preserved by a melting glacier, emerged from the icy depths. It was like stepping back in time, with the remains clad in clothing straight out of 1942. The worker even found backpacks, watches, mess kits, and a glass bottle alongside the mystery couple. As if that wasn't incredible enough, the authorities later confirmed that these frozen relics indeed belong to the long-lost Dumoulin couple. Yep, it's a heartbreaking revelation. Suggesting they met their end after a tragic fall into a crevice. Looks like the 75-year-old mystery has finally been solved. Plane wreck. Talk about an unexpected blast from the past. Switzerland's summer heatwave did more than just make folks sweat. It unveiled a World War II time capsule. A Dakota, en route from Austria to Italy, had a fateful meeting with the Gauli Glacier in the Bernese Alps. All thanks to some seriously lousy visibility. Fast forward 72 years and voila. The melting glacier revealed this hidden treasure. The plane was packing some serious cargo, including high-ranking U.S. Armed Forces officers. Yes, this plane had a bumpy landing, but thankfully there were no fatalities. This daring rescue mission even birthed Switzerland's air rescue services. They brought out the big guns, using an aircraft to touch down on a glacier for the very first time. Now that's a story that'll give you chills. HMS Terror after eight years of relentless searching, an Arctic research mission might have just cracked a 168-year-old cold case. It looks like they've stumbled upon the HMS Terror from the notorious Franklin expedition. Sir William Franklin led this doomed voyage in search of the elusive Northwest Passage. But tragedy struck, and both the HMS Terror and HMS Erebus vanished into thin air in 1848 leaving all 129 crew members in the cold. Fast forward to today, and the terror was found not where they expected, 
but a whopping 96 kilometers south of the presumed location. It's chilling to think it's been resting 24 meters below the surface in Terror Bay, off the southwest corner of Nutvang's King William Island. With the help of some high-tech wizardry, a remote-controlled underwater vehicle, the Arctic Research Foundation took a peek inside the terror. And what did they find? A ship so well-preserved, it's like it's just been docked yesterday. Talk about a history buff's dream come true. New Life This is a tale that'll give you the chills, but in a good way. A team of intrepid geologists armed with a hot water drill and a trusty GoPro set off on a mission to the southern edge of Antarctica's Weddell Sea. What they stumbled upon down there is nothing short of mind-blowing. After boring a hole through a jaw-dropping 3,000 feet of ice and lowering their camera into the abyss, they were met with a sight straight out of a sci-fi movie, colonies of seemingly stationary creatures, firmly rooted to a boulder. It's an environment that's about as alien as they come, and yet, it's teeming with life. The team did a double take, counting 16 sponges and over 20 unidentified critters. Nobody in their wildest dreams thought to look for this kind of life because, well, they didn't think it could exist there. To top it all off, this boulder was a whopping 150 miles away from the nearest open ocean. Talk about a long-distance relationship. The nearest plant life possibly up to a mind-boggling 1,000 miles away. How do these organisms manage to survive, you ask? It's all about scavenging floating material from other creatures or plants. Since good old photosynthesis is a no-go in the sunless, icy underworld they call home. Who knows what other secrets lie beneath those colossal ice shelves. 46,000-year-old worms when Russian scientists went digging around in the soil below the Arctic permafrost, they made the discovery of a lifetime. These ancient worms were uncovered in the burrow of a prehistoric squirrel, and the researchers believe that they had been frozen 100 feet underneath the ice for 42,000 years. The mysterious microscopic worms were brought up to the laboratory and placed into petri dishes in a bid to bring them back to life. Yep, scientists actually wanted to defrost these strange ancient creatures. These frozen nematodes eventually began to thaw out and researchers even observed them crawling around and eating in their dishes. That's right, after 42,000 years these mysterious worms were now officially the oldest living organisms on the planet. We don't know about you, but we're not sure bringing ancient animals back from the dead is the best idea. Haven't you ever seen Jurassic Park? Life finds a way. Woolly Rhino You've probably heard of the woolly mammoth, but have you ever heard of the woolly rhino? This is a discovery that's going to send shivers down your spine. In the frozen expanse of Siberia, a prehistoric superstar has emerged from its icy slumber, a woolly rhinoceros, perfectly preserved like a popsicle, and it brought its last supper along for the ride. This ancient giant, a whopping 80% intact, still boasts a full set of teeth. Estimated to be a mere toddler at three or four years old, the prevailing theory is a tragic river flood led to its icy entombment. Now, this isn't just any old carcass, oh no. It's a remarkably well-preserved time capsule, complete with a snapshot of its insides. That's right, internal organs are on the menu for scientists eager to uncover the dietary secrets of this long-extinct species. As for its age, well, that's a bit of a rhino riddle. We're talking potentially anywhere from 20,000 to a jaw-dropping 50,000 years old. Yep, this is one special rhino. Shackleton's Whiskey Ernest Shackleton, the legendary polar explorer, left behind a liquid legacy in the icy heart of Antarctica and it took nearly a century for it to resurface. In an epic mission led by New Zealand's fearless researchers, they set out to revive Shackleton's long-lost stash, tucked away since his 1907 Nimrod expedition at Cape Royds, a stone throws from the South Pole itself. And what they unearthed was nothing short of extraordinary. A case of Mackinlay's blended whiskey, aged to perfection over 15 years and bottled back in the 1890s. That's one old bottle of booze. This liquid treasure had weathered over a hundred years of icy slumber, patiently waiting for its moment in the spotlight. 
Shackleton ordered this precious cargo to uplift the spirits of his intrepid team, offering a simp of warmth and solace to the brutal Antarctic terrain. Sadly, when Shackleton's journey was cut short in 1909, just days from claiming the pole, the whiskey stayed behind frozen in time. We wonder what this old whiskey tastes like. Almost edible. Talk about a slice of history that refuses to crumble. In the icy embrace of Antarctica, a 100-year-old fruitcake has proven itself to be the ultimate survivor. Yes, fruitcake can officially survive anything. Conservationists from the Antarctic Heritage Trust stumbled upon this sweet time capsule in the oldest shack around, nestled on Cape Adar. Wrapped snugly in paper and the remnants of a tin, this fruitcake is defying the odds in what can only be described as excellent condition and it looks and smells like it just rolled out of the oven. Legend has it, British explorer Robert Falcon Scott packed this treat for his 1910-1913 Terra Nova escapade, around the same time as the Titanic. When you're battling the bitter cold of Antarctica, high-fat, high-sugar goodies like fruitcake become the holy grail of sustenance. But there's a sad twist to this sweet story. Scott and his fearless crew triumphed at the South Pole in 1912, but tragedy struck on their journey back to the Terra Nova hut. No one survived the deadly trip. No one, that is, except this legendary fruitcake. Their legacy lives on, and so does this fruitcake. Number 3. Rare Indian Jewels In a tragic turn of events, Mont Blanc bore witness to not one, but two Air India flights meeting their fate on its slopes. In 1950 and 1966, claiming the lives of all 117 souls on board. Fast forward to 2013 and a French mountaineer stumbled upon a treasure trove that would alter their destiny. A mysterious box held a heap of precious stones valued at a staggering $340,000. Believed to be remnants of the ill-fated 1966 flight, human remains, luggage, and even a bag carrying diplomatic mail from India have all been found at the crash site. Now, the gems, they've been divided up into two equal lots, each valued at around 150,000 euros. One half is now under the watchful eyes of the Chamonix government in France, while the other takes its place in the fortunate climber's pocket. Now that's a hike that really paid off. Mysterious Green Iceberg The legend of the Green Iceberg has had explorers scratching their heads for well over a century. Imagine setting eyes on these massive emerald and jade-hued icebergs in the midst of the southern ocean. Yep, it's like stumbling upon nature's hidden treasure. But the mystery has finally been cracked. After years of speculation, scientists have pinned down the source of this otherworldly green spectacle. They are not from the land of Oz. Turns out it's all about the iron oxides from the seawater. When these yellow-tinged oxides mingle with the natural blue of the ice, it's like an art piece in the Antarctic. Now, let's talk about the birth of these jade marvels. It's not your usual snow scenario. These bad boys are formed when mineral-rich seawater freezes under an ice shelf and eventually snaps off. Yep, it's a natural work of art in the making. So there you have it, the enigma of the jade iceberg demystified by some good old-fashioned science. Who knew that icebergs could be green? Zombie back to life. Well, brace yourselves for a sci-fi level revelation, everyone. Russian scientists have just pulled off a resurrection stunt that's straight out of a horror movie. They've brought back to life not zombies or dinosaurs, but strange little microscopic organisms. These microscopic champs with circle-shaped mouths and tiny hair-like structures. Now, these organisms aren't your average critters, they're the hardcore survivors of the microscopic world, thriving in conditions that would make the rest of us faint. We're talking blazing hot undersea vents and the cold vacuum of space. In other words, extremophiles. The whole revival operation took a detour to Siberia, where a chunk of permafrost, a ground that's been frozen solid for eons, got the spotlight. These organisms have been in Ice Age mode since the Pleistocene epoch, a whopping 2.6 million years ago. After a gentle thawing, these little champs went back to their usual business, including their trademark asexual reproduction. Amazing, right? They've brought these ancient creatures back to life after all this time. 
Now, this groundbreaking research isn't just a cool party trick. It's pushing the boundaries of cryobiology, the science of life at frosty temperatures. Sure, the thought of applying this to humans is tempting, but let's face it, we're a tad more complicated than these little creatures. One day we might be able to be frozen in ice and brought back to life, but we might have to wait a while for that sci-fi upgrade.